Hey, what's up you guys? It's Nikki and I am back again with another video for you today. Today I have for you all a makeup haul. It is collective. Um, some of the stuff I got for Christmas, some of the stuff I bought while Christmas shopping. Yeah, so it's not like super collective. I bought this all in December except for one thing which I bought the second it went online and then my mom reimbursed me for it and gave it to me for Christmas. So I just now finally got it even though I bought it like a month or two ago. But none of that matters. Let's just do this video. The first thing that I have to show you guys is the thing that I bought, the second one online, um, and that is the Holiday Palette by Kylie Jenner and the Kylie Cosmetics. Um, the reason I bought this right when it came out was because I bought the Burgundy Palette the second it came out as well, like the minute it, it first went on sale, and the Burgundy Palette is like my favorite eyeshadow palette that I own. So when the Holiday Palette came out, I bought this one as well, and I haven't even touched it yet, look at that. So, um, I have not used it yet. I mean, I swatched a couple of them, but for the most part, it really hasn't been touched. And I do know that I'm already obsessed. I can just tell because look at it. So, I completely recommend Kylie's brand. I have, um, two of her lip kits. I have Leo and Court K, and I love them both. Um, and then I have the Burgundy palette and now the Holiday palette as well. And I am a huge fan. The next thing that I picked up is the Ardell Lash Book. Um, I'm a massive fan of Ardell as well. I do have mink lashes, but um, for the most part I wear Ardell. Right now I have on the 120, which is this pair right here. They're obviously not from the set. I haven't touched this set yet. Um, but I don't know if I would wear every single pair in here. But for the most part I love um, these styles and I think that Ardell is like a really good price and this book itself was a really good price. So I could not pass that up at all. The next thing that I grabbed for myself may be the holy grail of all makeup. Um, I'm not sure yet, but I think it might be up there. It is a Laura Mercier translucent powder. Um, I think every woman in the world should probably just have this in their um, makeup collection or their makeup bag. It's just, I mean, if you don't know what it is, I don't know what to tell you. It's everywhere. It's just the translucent powder that people put um, over their liquid foundation or concealer and it mattifies your face and I'm just like really really obsessed with it. I needed it in my life and I love the way it makes my skin look. The next thing I have to show you is another thing that I have used before but absolutely stand by and it is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Um, I hate wearing makeup and not putting this on. I'm actually just gonna put some on right now because I haven't done today since I was out. So this spray is like hairspray for your face. Like I feel so much different when I have this on. Everything just feels like it's not going to go anywhere for the rest of my life if I don't want it to. So, oh, <laughs> I love that. My God, that feels so good. Now, I can go run a marathon, swim across the ocean, hike a mountain, do whatever I want. My face isn't going anywhere. The next thing that I have to show you guys was a huge surprise and something I'm very excited to be owning and that is because um, my sister got it for me for Christmas and it's the Tardist uh, Pro Palette which I have been eyeing for a while now and was just kind of like I don't need it, I have so many eyeshadows and then my sister handed it to me and I was like holy crap because first of all, uh, there you guys are, I will literally never see a better mirror in my life, I guarantee no palette will ever have something nicer than this. And then these colors just absolutely kill me. I'm a huge fan of matte, and all of the squares are matte, and then the four circles are shimmer. It's what I have on my eyes today, and I absolutely adore it. The Tarte Clay eyeshadows and Kylie Cosmetic eyeshadows are my favorite shadows on the face of the earth. I used to be a diehard Urban Decay fan, but between the Tarte Clay, like my other favorite palette is the, um, uh, Tarlet in Bloom 2. I absolutely swear by that palette. It's my everyday palette. And then the Burgundy palette by Kylie Cosmetics. Holy crap, they are amazing. Alright, and then the last brand I have to show you is quite a lot of stuff. I've got a whole bag here, as you can see. You can't really see, honestly. And then these as well. I'm just going to start. Um, this is all from IT Cosmetics. Um, the first thing I bought for myself while I was Christmas shopping for other people, because I'm literally the worst, um, it is the Experience Velvet Ultimate Luxe Five Piece Face and Eye Brush Set. Um, I saved the box to show you guys, but I bought this a few weeks ago, like two weeks ago probably, and I've been using it a ton. Um, 
So it comes in a velvet bag and the brushes, one of them is pretty dirty, you're going to see. Just be <laughs> This is black, I swear, um, but I've been using it every day. So these IT cosmetic brushes are absolute to die for. This one I clearly use for like my concealer, it's pretty filthy. But I have literally never felt a softer brush in my life. Um, I've been using this one for my foundation and it goes on flawlessly. I'm really just kind of obsessed, like, gotta be honest. And look at how sleek that is. Like, it's jet black, like my soul. It's beautiful. And then into my fun bag of goodies, I'm just gonna start pulling random stuff out of here. We'll zip it up and shake it around. It's not even gonna do anything. Um, let's see what I pull out. The first thing that I have to show you is the Your Skin But Better CC Cream. Um, I am the shade Medium. I'm really, really pale right now uh, because it is December and I am currently in New England. But uh, eventually this will be perfect for me. I know today it's a little bit dark, but I also did not put any self-tanner on. So that's why I'm a little tiny bit off. The camera's picking it up more than it looks in person too, which is kind of freaking me out a little bit. But it's fine. So, um, I actually love this. It's a CC cream, but I think it is completely full coverage. Um, it's a great foundation. SPF 50, and it's color correcting. So, totally recommend. Next we have... Okay, here we go. This is the CC Plus um, Radiant Ombre Blush. And this has quickly become my favorite blush on the face of the earth. Look at this, first of all. I can't. Like, I really, I don't know. I'm wearing it right now um, with my Tarte uh, Park Avenue Princess um, bronzer, I believe. If that's wrong, I'm sorry. But between the two, like, and then I have on um, Champagne Pop uh, highlighter. <laughs> oh my god. So, this blush is absolutely I don't even know. Like, I'm gonna just wear it for the rest of my life, I think. I don't even need another blush ever. The next thing I grabbed is the Celebration Foundation Illumination. Say that ten times fast. The Daria. Um, and this is also in the shade Medium. So it's got two compartments. You pull out the little tiny baby brush first. And then uh, it's just like a powder foundation. But it has um, a little bit of illumination in it as well. I have yet to use this. But I think it's really pretty because... Um, sometimes Laura Mercier translucent powder is not all you want to wear. You want something with a little more color in it, so I figured this would be good to have. Alright, next up we have the Feel the Moment Anti-Aging Ultra Hydrating Sensory Awakening Primer Serum. Oh man, that is fancy. So, I used this today for the first time and I did really like it. Um, it's on me right now. I think it did its job. It primed me well. So it just looks like this. I like that I'm going to get a lot of product out of this. I can tell because it's a syringe, like little dropper, I mean. Um, not a syringe. That would be weird. Um, but I just feel like this is going to last a while. This is a pretty big bottle. And I think it's cute, too. I like that it's frosted. But it went on really nicely. Um, it's a little bit tacky, which is always good with a primer. And I enjoy it. Next up, I am pulling out... Alright, CC Plus Eye Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. I have yet to use this because of another product that I was using, which I will show you next because I believe that's the only thing that's left. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's just uh, an eye. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That thing is funky. So, oh, I like this. Oh man, I should have used this. It's got a really nice wand on it so that it smears right under your eyeballs. Dang, I'm totally using this tomorrow. Gosh, that's really cool. Well, the reason I didn't use that is because I bought Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, I didn't buy it. I got I, Bye Bye Under Eye from my mom. Um, she got it for me, and it is the double-sided one that's, like, super bomb because um, this side is, like, your skin color. Um, and then this side is, like, lightening. It's a highlight so that your under eyes are brighter than the rest of your body or face or whatever you want to do that, you know? So if you do like multiple stripes and then like crisscross them, um, it ends up being like the perfect shade of life and it made me really happy to wear this today. But I really like this CC cream one too, so now I'm torn. Well, I don't know. I'll figure it out. It's fine. That ended up being a little more un unconventional than I inspected. What? What did I say? <laughs> Woo! Okay, I'm glad we got through that. I didn't know if I was going to make it or not. Thank you for bearing with me on this adventure that is 
my makeup haul video. Um, if you like what you saw, please give this video a like. Feel free to follow me. You can also follow me on my Instagram um, or Twitter if you want, but Twitter is not my thing. I don't know. I don't really use it, so, you know, do whatever. Uh, if you didn't like this video, I'm sorry. Better luck next time, maybe. If not, I don't know what to tell you. But hopefully I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!